Hi everyone, this is Koran from Speed Ecom and in this new video we are going to see how you can add a dynamic flash bar on the header of your Shopify store. Everyone seems to like this type of moving info bars and before we begin I would really like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the coming tutorials and also leave a like and a comment. So now the first thing you need to do before making any changes to your theme files is copying the theme itself. So you have to go to actions then duplicate and you will have a copy of your theme that will be added just below. So if you make any big mistakes and you can go back on your changes all you have to do is just use the copy. You will find in the description of this video a link to the written tutorial where you will have access to the different codes that we will use. Once you're in this page, copy the first code that you will find. There we go. Then go back to your theme files, click on actions, edit code. And find the um, snippets folder. Once you've found it, you have to add a new snippet and you will name the file dg flash infos with an S at the end. Create and paste the code that you just copied in the file. Then you have to go to the theme.liquid file. Know that you can place this bar pretty much anywhere you want on your site, but usually it's used as a, a header bar. So if you do want to place the bar above your store's header, please find the body tag. It's somewhere in the middle of the page and you will have to copy and paste a second code just underneath. And for that we have to go back to the written tutorial where you will also see that we have given you a second code that you can use just in case the first one doesn't work. This is a pretty complicated script so it may not work on every theme. Now please scroll at the very bottom of the page and copy the last code that you will see. This code will help you display the bar wherever you have chosen to place it. Therefore you have to go back to the theme.liquid file and place the code just under the body tag. Then, of course, you have to save it and refresh your page. There we go. You can see that we have added the bar, but it does not seem to work correctly. As the first code does not seem to work with the debut theme, we will go back to the tutorial and copy the second one. There we go. And now we just have to replace it in the digiflash info files. Now we refresh the page and everything seems to work. We will just wait and see, it will be changing dynamically. There you go. Now that we know the bar works correctly, we can go and see what we can customize. First, at the very top, you will notice that I have added five different types of information. The first one is free shipping and each has its own SVG icon. If you want to delete secure payments, for example, all you have to do is delete this part of the code. There you go. Now you will only have four left. Or if you want to add one, you just have to copy it and paste another one just underneath. Then, of course, you will have to customize the text and, of course, the icon itself. It's fairly easy for the text, but let me tell you how you can add a new SVG icon if you want to add new information. Start by going to the flaticon.com site and here you will have to find the icon that you want to use. For example, let's find a shopping bag. There we go. We'll close this. And uh, let's try and use the first one. Start by downloading it in the SVG style. Free download. And open it in your browser. Then left click on the icon view page source and copy the source code that you will have. We will then go back to the theme files. Let's change here to test. Let's delete this. Let's delete the original SVG code and paste the new one. There we go. Now it's a new code. Let's do that like this just so we can make it pretty. Save and refresh the page. Now, if you wait, there we go. We can see that we have just added a new type of information with a new icon. And finally, you can also customize the display style of the different elements of the header bar. If we go back to the theme code, you will here find the different color codes that you can change for the background, for the text, for the icons here, or you can change the height of the bar itself. And at the very bottom, you can change the speed 
for the autoplay you can change the number of slides you want to show uh, in a PC version or in mobile version etc for example here you have three slides selected for the PC version and one for the mobile version so if I go back to the mobile view of my demo store you can see here we have the free shipping and then the other slides will come one per one so this is it for this tutorial i hope you really liked it and you will find it useful once again please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we will have many more tutorials to come